Good morning, St. Hugh. I am Horacio Rodriguez. And I am Daniela Vesia. And, and welcome, welcome to St. Hugh, Hugh News. Today is Monday, October 5th, and it is day B. Let's begin with a prayer. In the Father, Gracious God, may I grow in humility so that I understand and appreciate all that I am and have is because of your goodness and grace. Amen. 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 Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. This month, St. Hugh students will be focusing on the virtue of humility. Humility is defined as the virtue that enables us to acknowledge that, that God is the source of all good. Humility helps us remember how God works in us to do loving and kind things for each other. What better way to learn about the different types of animals than to make a group collage? That is what the first graders did. The class was divided into several groups and asked to cut out pictures from magazines and divide them into amphibians, mammals, reptiles, birds, and fish. They had a wonderful time as they learned about the different animal classifications. Beautiful work, first graders! The eighth grade class will soon have to decide which high school to attend next year. In order to help them with this decision, the eighth graders visited LaSalle High School last week and will be visiting Our Lady of Lourdes Academy in Christopher Columbus this Wednesday. Students, remember to check their websites and deadlines as you prepare for the upcoming exam. Students in sixth grade researched all the countries in the seven continents and their physical features and created and defined their own maps. These maps were then put together into create stunning books titled Maps of the World. Amazing book, sixth grade. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, St. Hugh students have been preparing projects on different Hispanic countries to be displayed this Friday, October 9th, in the auditorium, Hispanic Heritage Day. The celebration will culminate in a soccer tournament against the classes representing their respective countries. Students, remember to invite your parents to view the projects from 8 to 9 a.m., as well as cheering on the teams. Buena suerte! And now with Camila Moreno about doing sports. The cross-country season has been up and running with athletes, improving their times with each race they participate in. Cross-country athletes run distances of one and up to two miles for varsity. They run through rain, sand, rocks, cement, and grass, and under intense heat. Out of all of the schools in all Catholic conferences, St. Hugh always comes out in top five. Congratulations, readers. Both the girls and varsity volleyball teams lost to Epiphany. The boys 25-12, 25-13, and the girls 25-8 and 25-15. The junior varsity volleyball team was successful in beating Epiphany after three sets where they won the first set, lost the second, and came back to beat them on the third, 15-7. The boys junior varsity basketball team, after putting on a strong effort, lost to Holy Rosary, 35-22. Well, now you know what's coming up this week. Have a great day and thank you for watching the St. Hugh News.